So today is an exciting day. I just picked up another Cleveland motor off uh, uh, classifieds that I found and I'd shipped it back from back east out to uh, a shipper shipping dock through a company out here in Seattle. So here's the motor. So to make this happen, what I did was is I used a company uh, called Freight Quote, and I have no association with them whatsoever besides using them as a, um, uh, a business. And they, what they do is, is they go to all the freighters and they come out with the best price. And because they're shipping uh, quite a few items through other sources, they usually tend to get a better rate, I think, than what I've experienced when I try to call up the freighter it's themselves. So. What you do is you go on there, you sign up, you um, essentially can go in and you need to know if you're going to ship something through a pallet or through a box, whatever you're going to do. Usually large items like when I've shipped uh, transmissions or engines, uh, what I end up doing is I work it out with the seller and say, hey, if I'm willing to have something picked up either your house or if you live in uh, kind of a, um, an urban area, can you take it to a dock? with one of the shippers if it's nearby and uh, have drop it off there and it saves that quite a bit of money usually it's the last mile where the shipper has to go in and uh, bring in a truck with a uh, lift gate or something to get you know a big pallet or an item onto the truck so what I'll typically do is once I set up the, the quote you can go in and say, okay, you know, does this date work for you and whatnot, and set it all up. And in this case, for this motor, I worked it out with the seller so that they wouldn't even have to take it to the, the dock. So I paid a little bit more in shipping, but the convenience for the seller made them more willing to work with me considering they weren't necessarily advertising the item, in this case, the motor, um, for sale. Uh, well, they do the shipment. They want typically wanted you to come pick it up locally, and because I was halfway across the country, it wouldn't make sense for me to you know drive overnight and spend hotel fees and all that stuff just to go pick it up because it's that great of a deal. So if you find something that's typically you know seems competitively priced or something that you can do well, um, this is an option for you. And so I highly recommend you know checking it out and trying it out. It's worked for a couple of friends of mine I recommended who are also in the cars and stuff. Um, so this is exciting. The next goal here is to transport this motor over to uh, the shop, and once we get it over the shop, we're gonna take it, um, unwrap it, you know, get it off the pickup here, start taking a look at, hey, you know, is this is basically you know what I was advertised, what I got, and I have no reason to believe it's not. In fact, the seller was very honest and forthright about all the things with it, and so everything met all the. Um, uh, check marks of what I was looking for in the motor so it's just going to be provide a lot of pictures too so it's really going to be a matter of you know taking the valve covers off take the um, uh, oil pan off and just go through it make sure everything is there and everything something's broken and things cracked you know nothing's going to cause a problem later on so hopefully this will be a viable motor for me to use in the engine and I'll kind of go over what I like about it what are the benefits you know what are the drawbacks of going with it it's because it's another stock block and we'll go from there